What's up guys, Cody Dean here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about overcoming objections. Just wanna show you this view though. It is gorgeous over here. I am in Sandy, Utah right now. But I wanna to talk to you guys about overcoming objections in your network marketing opportunity, your business, your selling. You are a sales rep and you are gonna have objections when people finally get to talking to you. Okay. Hopefully by the time that they've talked to you, you've been able to filter them out with your funnel. But usually by the end, I tell people make an appointment with someone and then you can actually talk to someone that's interested, right? Someone that's applied to join your team. But sometimes people will still have objections. And so I want to actually tell you the formula that I use to help me overcome objections in my business, okay? And I'm gonna give you a couple other points that I've learned from my other sales trainings and people that I, I have studied from, like Grant Cardone, The Wolf of Wall Street. Those two I have studied immensely, as well as Russell Brunson. So let's get into it. So number one, first thing you gotta do, and I got this from Grant Cardone, is you make a list of all of the objections that you are hearing. Now, this kind of goes along with my first step of goal creation is awareness. You just need to become aware of what is happening. You need to become aware of what's out there. A lot of people think, oh man, I have thousands and thousands of objections that people are giving me for not wanting to join my team or buy my product or my service or whatever it is. <clears throat> and like Jordan Belford talks about in his book, The the Way of the Wolf, he talks about how there's really only a couple of objections. And so what you want to come you want to become aware of and bring your attention to the objections that people are giving you. So that's number 1 is just make a list of all of them. Now a lot of times they'll all they'll be able to consolidate down to five or six different objections. Um I think in the Wolf of Wall Street, it's like, it's a bad time or I need to talk to someone. Those are usually the two main concerns. In network marketing, there's a, the, a big objection is, hey, I don't have the money. But usually if you can just make sure you're talking to the right type of people, then that objection goes away, especially because it's a way to help people make money, right? So that's the first thing is make a list of all those things, all the objections that you're getting. Number two is you want to be prepared with some kind of script. So you want to write down a script on those objections. Because if you are stumbling over your words like, um, oh, well, I'm not sure. Well, um, it's, it's really good. Um, I'm, you know, you want to be prepared with the script. I got this again from Jordan Belford. He's really big on scripts. Having a script is super important because if you don't, you're gonna fumble on your words. You're not gonna sound very authentic. You're not gonna sound good. A lot of people think, hey, if I have a script of a objection, it's gonna sound like I'm reading a script. Well, the goal is to make it not sound like you're reading a script. The goal is to make it sound fluid it's, and to make it sound smooth, add inflection. So now that you have the list, and now you have some responses to the top five objections that you're getting, next thing is, you, you probably want to know, hey, like, what's the formula for the objection, okay? And I've kind of come up with this, and I call the ABC method, okay? I've come up with this over my years of selling. I've sold millions and millions of dollars of supplements. I've sold real estate, not as a real estate agent, but, you know, I've, I've helped with flipping some houses. I sell my courses online. So the objection is ABC. So it's this is if you're doing, like, one-on-one -on -one selling, okay? So... I'll get to one to many selling in just a minute. So if you're one-on-one, -on -one, you want to A, acknowledge what they are saying. Acknowledging will help them get out of the fight or flight mode. If you start to get offended by them asking a question or by them coming up with an objection, then you actually will reinforce that objection with their reptile brain, with their emotional brain, and you won't get anywhere. Like, you'll fall out of communication with someone, okay? So you want to acknowledge them. I, Grant Cardone says you want to agree with them. I, I say just acknowledge, right? You don't, you don't have to say, hey, I agree with you on that. You can. That's a way of acknowledging. Just say, just acknowledge. Say, hey, you know what? I totally hear you. 
oh, I totally understand what you're saying. Oh, I see that you want, you have an objection to the price, right? Hey, you know, I totally agree with you. The price is crazy high. Or, hey, I totally see that the price is high, right? You're just agreeing with them. You're, you're coming to them as an, a consultant, not as a salesperson, right? You're not trying to force them to get it. You really want them just to do it if it's going to be beneficial to them. And so hopefully, ethically, you feel like it is benefiting to them, right? So acknowledge and then... I always like to build value. So that's what the B stands for. So you acknowledge, build value, and then you continue on with the the sell, right? And uh, Jordan Belford would call this like looping, right? So you acknowledge, hey, you know, I totally get it. It's kind of crazy. Um, cool thing is, and you can build value, is it's actually going to blah, 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 fill in the blank of some value, right? Jordan Belford, he, he likes to go, hey, but do you like the idea? Does it make sense to you? And then he can kind of gauge their tone based on their tonality of, hey, if they're really interested or not, right? So if you say, hey, you know, what? I totally... I totally get that the price is kind of crazy, but do you like the idea? Like money aside, do you like the idea? Does it make sense to you? And if they come back with like, no, it's like it's stupid. Then you say, okay, cool. See ya. Right. And their tonality is so low, like on a scale of zero to 10, they're, they, you can just tell they're not interested. But if you're like, hey, does it make sense to you? Do you like the idea? I, I totally agree. Price is crazy right? But do you like the idea? I mean, does it make sense to you to use the product, the service? Yeah, yeah, I really like it, but the price is crazy. Now you can go into building value. Hey, totally agree with you. Um, the cool thing is though, and then you can go into a looping pattern. I'll, maybe I'll talk about looping another day, but really it comes down to like building value in yourself, building value in your company, building value in the product, and continuing to build that value through the objections right? The objections are really good because it's going to help peel back the layer, so to speak. So, um, and then you continue to close the deal down, right? You continue on with the sell. Um, C, that's what the C stands for. And it's, it's kind of both, honestly. It's like you can close and you can continue on with the sell. If you realize, hey, depending on where they are at in their selling cycle, in the sales process, by this point where you are already have funneled someone into your appointment they've applied to join your team there's really you're just at the end so you can close the deal down because they've already done a lot of pre-qualification -qual in the funnel if you have any questions down below comment what kind of objections you're getting and then let's all help you uh, come up with some scripts that you can use to get these objections handled you guys if also down below there is a recruit like a rock star pdf it's a one page pdf it's the exact formula that i use to attract over 20 almost 2800 people to my network marketing business over the last year or two all in an automated way i'll show you how to do it as well so you can click down below recruit like a rock star.com and download that one page PDF and you also get a free video training as well. You guys go out, be great and create your freedom.